Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Josie here. I have a little cold, so you know you can hear from my speech. So there is this video going viral saying that Africa is a cemetery. I mean cemetery. If you are an African and you see a video like that, you'll be panicking. You want to know more or you want to know some of the reason why this person is saying that Africa is a cemetery for Africans. You know why? Let's go and watch the video. And I know after watching this video, you will also say the same thing or you will say it's not true that this thing is even happening in Africa or Africa is not a village. Uh, Africa is not a cemetery. You know, this person said, should I say it? No, let's go and watch the video and come back and discuss it for ourselves. Africa is a cemetery for Africans. When an African becomes rich, his bank accounts are in Switzerland. He travels to France for medical treatments. He invests in Germany. He buys from Dubai. He consumes Chinese. He prays in Rome or Mecca. His children study in Europe. He travels to Canada, the USA and Europe for tourism. When he dies, he will be buried in his native country. Africa is a cemetery for Africans. How then can a cemetery be developed? So guys, after watching this video, do you still believe that Africa is a cemetery for Africans or what this man is saying is not true? I mean, all these things that he mentioned, though they are true, but Africa is not a cemetery for Africans. I mean, um, ten, let me say um, it's about five out of um 5% out of um, 10 people can afford all these things that this man is saying. And those people who, who are involved in schooling abroad, I mean, buying in abroad, consuming foreign food, are the rich people or our, or they are our politicians who have a lot of money. Most of them school in abroad. Most of them go to hospital in abroad. Their children are living outside the country. They go to Dubai and all, all these, um, um, developed countries for holidays. Meanwhile, we have a lot of nice places that you can visit in Africa. But as an African, when we get money, we don't want to spend the money in Africa. And we know and we've have, we have heard that most of our most of our politicians do save in abroad. So when they die, their money dies over there because when they die, nobody knows that you have saved there. So the the states or the government takes the money. Yes, a lot of African leaders saved in foreign land. We we now we 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 are becoming conscious of things we have in Africa because now we have a lot of content creators who are showing us nice places, places that are so similar or just look like Europe or America. When we talk about Namibia, there is a desert there which a lot of people also travel to Dubai just to go and walk on the desert, just to go and have fun on the desert. I remember one man was saying that when we were kids, we used to play in the sun. Now we have money and we buy tickets to go and play in the sun. So what is the essence of this thing? We have nice places. If it's talk about buildings or roads, we have a lot of African country that that's our most developed. When you talk about Rwanda, they are nice road. I mean, the country is so neat. So what are we looking for as an Africans? When we stop visiting these places, spending money over there, because the amounts of money we spend when we travel outside, we can spend that money in our motherland. We can use even one month to spend there. Uh, we can even use one year to spend that money. But Africa will use just a, a week. 
just one week to go to foreign land and spend a huge sum of money that can do something for them. I mean, I'm not the one to tell someone what to use your money for, but if we really meant that or if we really love our African country, we must spend our money in Africa. You can go to school in Africa. Me, I, I, I have nothing against that. But these things goes to the, the rich people, those who have it, those who are spending huge amounts of money outside Africa. Let's discuss this under the comment section. And I know you also have your opinion on this. Please don't forget to come back again to watch the videos, the next video that is coming. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.